Susie here. Thanks for tuning in today. Let me introduce you guys to my friend. This is Francine. Yeah, she's coming and joining us for today's video. I had a random, I don't even know where it came from, cold sore that is now kind of a scab that just keeps coming off over and over again. And I've tried, you know, in many ways to kind of cover it up and stuff, but this is actually not bleeding. It probably looks like it's like raw and open and, and all, but it's really not. It's just literally like a shiny, I guess like piece of the kind of like raw new skin underneath the like scab that kind of came off when I was in the shower. So just saying she's joining us today for this video. But um, today I'm going to try this out. This is from La Mercerie. Uh, it's the Nude Smoky Shimmery Eyeshadow with Applicator, and I got this at Dollar Tree. I did pick up another product from this brand at Dollar Tree, and it was this Midnight Black Mascara. The formula of this mascara was absolutely horrible. It was terrible, actually, but the wand is really nice on it, so I'm thinking about washing this out and reusing this wand with maybe another one of my mascaras, but, but I thought I would pick this up and maybe we can try it out. So I'm ready to do my eyeshadow. So yeah, let's try it. Um, La Mercerie is distributed by K7 Design Group out of Brooklyn, New York. Um, and it looks like it was made in China. So this is what it looks like. And um, I got this at Dollar Tree this past weekend. So I'm just kind of curious because the other product was so ugh, not good. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, how's this one gonna be? Is it gonna be any better? So this is the package. It looks really pretty cool. I like the colors on it. Um, they're very, very pretty. I especially really like the pink and this kind of golden color. There isn't a whole lot of um, depth to this, even though they're calling this a smoky. So there is this like brown, but it's not really that deep. You know, I almost kind of wish it was a little bit deeper and less like coppery colored. But either way, let's give it a go. Let's try it out. I do have some eyeshadow primer on. It's the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. And I don't have a whole lot of it left, but I'm trying to use every single last bit of it because I do love it. It is my favorite eyeshadow primer. And now I'm just getting some brushes so we can give this a go. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do first is actually do the darker color. I'm gonna just use a brush. I'm gonna go into the dark brown, so, or the what they're calling the darkest brown. So it does look like my brush is picking up some of that color, so that's good. Let me get a better mirror. I'm just thinking this is not gonna be very deep. Okay, you know, I'm not mad at the color. I don't think it's like, I, I would, again, still prefer something a little deeper, but I do feel like there is pigmentation there because I was like literally thinking there's not going to be anything, you know, the mascara was so terrible um, or at least the one that I happened to pick up. I don't know if it was maybe old or what, I don't know, but it was not working well and it's a real nice good sign uh, to see that at least this eyeshadow is working pretty well. So I'm just kind of putting that into the outer area of my eye here. And that actually looks pretty good. That's actually a pretty nice little um, shade. It really kind of does deepen up and it, it does kind of have that smoky effect to it. So that is really nice. Yeah, I am actually pretty shocked at the pigmentation because literally I was really thinking like, even in the store, I'm thinking, you know, I mean, I love the colors in here. They're so pretty so versatile and if you're someone that kind of likes a more nude eyeshadow look this would probably be a really nice one um, because you could use just kind of the lighter shimmery shades 
for like everyday wear. And then if you're trying to like go out that night or you're trying to, you know, deepen it up a little bit, you can reach for that brown in here and it's not too much, you know, it's not like a deep color where you would be like having to really work with it. It would be hard for you. Um, I think this would be really good. It would actually be a really good and easy color to kind of use to deepen things up a little bit, so. And I'm just kind of matching both of my sides, making sure it looks even. So now I'm gonna actually just use one other color. It's gonna be a really simple look, just two colors, but I'm just trying to debate which color I really wanna use. And I'm kind of leaning towards this one just because I really like that shade, but I also really like this one as well. Um, and then this one down here, I like it as well, but more for maybe like the brow bone or the inner corner. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a decision and I think I'm going to go in with the kind of more pink shade. So I usually use my finger for stuff like this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And my hands are clean. So I do have some and let's try it out. Okay, okay. I'm definitely getting some color. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So far, I'm actually very impressed. Considering I was really thinking I wasn't gonna have anything happening with this eyeshadow palette. It's very nice to see. Just making sure I really get that on the lid really good. And just kind of blend it a little bit into that brown. You guys, I think Francine approves. I think she approves. I think it actually looks really nice and I'm gonna kind of go back in with that brown and just kind of add some of that color back. But I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, I think it looks really nice personally. I like the kind of smoky effect that I got from it. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go in with this lightest shade and I'm gonna use this little applicator. So just right here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that looks really nice. I like that. Look, who said you can't be looking cute for $1.25? Not the Dollar Tree. I think it looks pretty. It does kind of have that like smoky look to it. I do want to kind of see how it wears throughout the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready. I will show you guys the end result of my eyeshadow look and then we'll kind of wear it to work, um, see how it looks. And I will join you guys later on today and I'll let you know how this eyeshadow wore. But you know, so far for $1.25, this is very comparable to more expensive brands that I've tried. And it looks just as good, honestly. Like, there's actually a Dior um, little quad that looks very similar to this. And I just remember the colors kind of being very similar. And I feel like this is like a good little dupe for a lot of little quads like that where you're kind of having that nude smoky look but only at a dollar 25 which is amazing amaze balls so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and finish i'll show you guys and then we'll see how it wore so i'll join you back in just a bit okay guys so i am done with doing my makeup this is what it looks like I think it looks pretty good. I actually really like it. I think that the colors are really pretty and shimmery. If you don't do shimmers, definitely not the kind of eyeshadow quad for you because it is quite shimmery, but it's really pretty. I think this will look really nice, especially on a night out, but it still looks good enough, you know, and nice enough for like a work day, you know, like I'm wearing this to work and it looks very nice. Um, but yeah, you could definitely also wear it out on like maybe a day, girls night, something. I mean, you could definitely wear this out. Hey 
everyone, Susie here. So I just got home from work and I've been wearing the makeup since this morning. So it is now five o'clock and when I put it on, it was about 6.30 in the morning. Um, and then this is how it's looking. So, I mean, it did crease a little bit. I have pretty oily eyelids. So I'm not exactly surprised that it creased because a lot of eyeshadows do crease uh, on me because I do have oily eyelids and I would say that the color did move around a little bit it definitely kind of muddied just a little bit but overall I I think you know considering it was a dollar 25 I think it looks pretty good to be honest with you and I'm overall pretty happy with it so I think if you guys are looking for a pretty decent um eyeshadow quad that is very similar to some high-end quads and you're okay with it, you know, lasting about, say, a good eight hours on you. I think this is a pretty good one. I mean, top it with a really good eyeshadow primer. And honestly, if you just kind of blend it out a little bit, it looks just fine. I mean, I wouldn't, like, worry about going out with this makeup or anything. I think it looks just fine. I am going to give it a two thumbs up. Uh, hopefully, you guys think so as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this eyeshadow quad. Have you seen it in your local Dollar Tree? And do you plan on picking it up now that you've seen my review of it? I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.